What's up guys, TDCRox5 here, and today is going to be an updated tutorial on the how to put a Bandicam files into Vegas Pro 11 and add an intro. Yes, I'm sorry for the crappy video quality if you ever see that video, um, or seen that video. Um, it's not the best quality, it really isn't, like it's all blurred out, you can barely hear my voice, I put a song that didn't really match what I was doing. Um, it was all like, you can see the board, black boards all around it. But this one, it's going to be clear, crisp, but I can almost guarantee it that you'll love it because I love it just as myself and it really helps you when you're doing videos. So, basically, let's just get started. When you want to record a um, Bandicam video, you just go up to Bandicam and obviously you're going to see stuff like this because I'm recording. You won't see this, like the numbers and everything won't be moving. But I have mine... Um, to record, delete, and then to pause, insert. That's how I do my video, or my uh, pausing and stopping, but that's not what you're worried about. You want to go to the video little tab, format, and you want to go to presets. And here you're going to be listed a bunch of random different presets, but the one you're mostly interested in is Sony Vegas Premiere Pinnacle. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, after you click that, it's going to make it a Sony Vegas file. It's going to make it so it's you don't have to convert it anymore. You don't need a converter. It's just going to make things so much easier in the long run. And actually, it's way more better quality than just making it an MP4. Because MP4 and Vegas Pros, Vegas Pros, and Vegas Pro is not a very good um, aspect. Because when Vegas Pro make, uh, renders out the MP4 uh, file, they don't add quality to it. They just rent. Well, the way I had it set up before, I just rendered it out straight, just clicked the MP4 720p, and it was done. But when I did my videos, it always came out crappy. It had a huge black bar around it. It was really, really um, bad. And I'll show you guys how to fix that. And the next step is, after you did all that, you can change your settings, your output, um, general, and all this other stuff. But next, we want to go into Vegas Pro. And after you get Vegas Pro 11 or Vegas Pro 12, it work I bet you it works for any Vegas Pro, really. Um... You just want to go and import your video wherever you have it saved. Obviously, I just made a really, really short video uh, for time's sake, and it's like, what, 12 sec, 3 seconds long. But, um, yeah, you want to, I'm just going to scroll it so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, basically, all you have to do is put the um, Bandicam file in here, but actually, it's not a Bandicam file. Technically it is, but it's a Sony Vegas file. And see how you can tell that I still have the black bars around it, and this is how you take that away. You want to right-click on the video. Do not mess with the um, audio clip at all. You don't have to really worry about that. Just It's just there. Um, you want to right-click on the top video, Properties, and then you, also, you want to Disable Resample, and you want to Mate. Maintain aspect ratio. You want to unclick that, and after you hit OK, you'll see your video is now full screen, and now you're ready to render. Um, to render, all you have to do is drag this little yellow triangle all the way over to the end of your video. This is like after you can put your intro in and stuff like that. And I actually didn't show you how to put your intro in, but it's very very simple. You just do the same thing like you do a Vegas uh, uh, Bandicam file. You just go to import wherever you saved. Um, your intro and as mine's right here I put my intro right there and because I have it too big it's going to be like a little big you want to just attach it to the end of that make sure it's not like too far because it'll overlap and have those X things because then it'll fade over to the next video you want to just make sure they're connected just very simply and then you can also add your um, what is it called outro I have an outro because I just think it makes makes my uh, video accidentally hit render um, my video is just more professional and just looks better. So I'm going to take my outro here, put it right there, and then you drag the little yellow triangle all the way over to the end of your video, and you're done for this part. Um, if you want to make your, um, uh, outro full screen, you can do the same thing with here with the, um, maintain, maintain aspect ratio. Like right here, you can do all that, but I like the way it looks with, like, with the border and everything. So now you guys are ready to render. Uh, if you have a crappy computer, it, this might take a little bit longer. The Bandicam uh, video 
or the one video I uploaded of Minecraft that was the Epic Bottle 40 jump map, uh, took about five five hours, um, because it was like 40 minutes and never uploaded. That was my longest video ever on YouTube. It was like 38 minutes, I think. Um, it's just because the way I had the settings, I had the settings really high, so that way it has really good graphics or um, quality, I can say. Um, so to get that higher quality, it's um, real. Really, really simple. I cannot talk as usual. You guys know this. Um, you want to just go to render as, and obviously you're not going to have this YouTube uh, customized template. What I'm going to show you is how I got that. Um, you want to just uh, scroll all the way to the bottom until you see eight mega, or you know, you're going to find uh, Windows Media Video V11 W or dot WMV. After you find that, you want to scroll all the way down again and find eight megabytes per second HD 1080p dash 30p video. You want to double click that before you hit render, customize template, and this is where the magic is what I call it happens. You want to go to um, this is what you'll find when you when you first click it after you customize template. You want to go to project video rendering quality best. You want to go to video, uh, pixel aspect ratio, you want to change that to a square. And the way I have it set, you don't have it, you can just leave this, but I have it set to um, 30 frames per second right here. It's just that, just makes it simple. And then you can leave pretty much all the, everything else the same. Uh, it's very simple, but that's what I have this saved as. And right here you can t um, title it whatever you want, like I'm going to name it tutorial. I don't know why it's all caps and how I'm so bad at spelling. There you go. Um, and then just hit render. It'll render the video. This is probably going to take a couple minutes. But I will be back to show you what the video looks like after it's rendered. It's not going to take too long. It's only, it only says it's only going to take a minute. And it'll, uh, actually, never mind. It's going to take longer than that. <laughs> but anyway, I'll be back with you guys after this is done. Uh rendering and I'll show you the quality of it okay as you guys can see the video is done um, and after it's done all you have to do is open the folder um, to where it's saved at. I think it's a fault like documents and everything um, but yeah you just open it and you click on the video that you just made and I'll shut up and let you guys watch it And as you guys can see, I didn't do anything in this video. I just wanted to show you that I um, can make it full screen, and I really hope this helped you. Um, it's that simple. I really don't understand why I didn't do it before. But um, as always, I really, really hope this video... Um, I really hope you like this video, and I hope you, this video also um, helped you with um, your editing um, basic skills. Mine aren't the best, as you probably known. Like when I first uploaded my couple of YouTube videos, they've been sketchy. Um, so yeah, as always, I really hope you guys is, guys like this video for the second time. And please, please, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It does help. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.